Hello, I'm Carl Seibert. Thanks for joining me for this Metadata Matters Quick Tip. If you're an XNView user and you've been working with metadata, that means probably that you have been working with metadata templates in XNView. And you very well may have discovered that in the XNView interface, there's no way to delete a template. So that could be kind of a problem as over time, your collection of templates grows and grows until it has filled all of the available space in the entire universe. Well, actually, there is a way to delete templates in the XNView interface. It's just not super obvious. What you can do is go to your XNView preferences. And we're in XMView MP for Macintosh here. Go to the Integration section. Go to the Paths tab. And there's a button here, Open Config Files Location. Press that button, and your .xmview folder, which is the folder that holds your configuration files, will open. And here we have our IPTC templates, not even in a subfolder. Here they are right here. Select the one that you want to get rid of and simply trash it. Now, this is a file manager window open on this folder, in this case, Finder in the Macintosh. And if you're thinking to yourself, hey, I can move template files from one copy of XNView to another, or I can back them up using this method, you are exactly 100% right. What if you want to work with these files and you don't want to open them through the Open Config Files button? Well then, you can just follow the path in your file manager to where the finders are. In this case, we're in my home folder, Carl, and we have a hidden file or a hidden folder right here, .xmvump, and that's the config file. But wait, what about these dot folders? These are hidden files they don't necessarily show in the Mac OS. Well, in Sierra and above, the keystroke shift command period toggles the visibility of hidden files off and on. In older versions of the Mac OS, there's a command that you can execute in the terminal that will turn visibility of hidden files on and another version of it that will turn it back off again. If that's the way you roll. Now in Windows, it's pretty much the same thing. We'll go to Settings. From there, we'll go to the Integration section and the Paths tab. And we'll open Config Files. And there we have it. The folder will open in Windows Explorer and same rules apply. We can do anything we want with these files. We can delete them, we can copy them, we can back them up, and we can exchange them amongst different instances of XNView. In Windows, we can also turn the visibility of hidden files and folders on, and we can navigate directly to the folder in the file manager. And I'll put the path down in the description for you. In Linux, it's the same deal. Go to your home directory, and there's a dot folder, called .config, and inside that, there's another .xmviewmp, and that's where you'll find the files. And similarly, in Linux, depending on what desktop manager you have and what file manager you're using, it's usually a menu item to turn the visibility of hidden folders and files off and on. And that's all there is to it. You can indeed delete unneeded configuration files in XNView actually without even leaving XNView. So thanks for watching this quick tip, and hopefully we'll see you soon. As always, reach out in the comments below or on social media. And until next time, mind your metadata.